your your gratitude, Mr. George Karnal Chedi, the father and head of our Sura Karnal Church. His days, Mr. Madhi Margar, Achu Shukadim. His Excellency, Mr. Lauren Michael Murphy, Bishop of Pembroke, Canada. His Excellency, Mr. Joy Alibad, our Excellent Bishop. Reverend Monsignor Thomas Morona, the Reverend Father Abraham Madonet, Joy Vajachira and Sabu Martiparami, and my dear Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sisters, Brothers and Sisters in the Lord. First of all, let me express my deep gratitude and appreciation for this wonderful gathering. First time in this Format. We are assembling as a regional convocation. Please serve in, our, in the Canary region, all the sisters, and a representation from all the 12 parishes and nine missions are here. And so it is a full fledged format of our Canary community here in North America. And my special greetings. To all of you, and my joyful welcome being extended to each and every one of you for this wonderful gathering. And I am really pleased to see you all here, though I have met you as I have visited all the parishes and all the missions, one time or other, and greeted you in various occasions. But now, as a very special selected body, we are assembled here. And the whole day you have been discussing and sharing the present conditions as well as our future plans for the growth of our community within our Sierra Monopoly of Chicago. And also, it's a very special occasion to have his way attitude, Carl John Alexandri being with us to attend this meeting and bless us with his prayers and message. And also we are privileged to have his days Mar Matthew Malakat, Archbishop Gaudium to be here this evening and for celebrations for tomorrow. And as everybody has expressed special very special presence of Mr. Michael Murphy from Pembroke Diocese in Canada to know and love and appreciate and see how it works and then make his own judgments and reports to the ordinary congregation as it is, as he is abided by the Holy See to see the working of the Canadian community all over the world. So first my greetings to each and every one of you. As we all know, our ISIS has been established in 2001 and Father Brahm Adolat has presented a brief presentation what is going on before the establishment of the diocese and what has been achieved or being achieved during these years of our diocese in growth. So I need to go in depth for all the progress we have made during these 15 years of our existence as a diocese. What was seen as an obstacle for the growth, also for Mithalat presented and shared it at the beginning of the presentation. There is a non-cooperation expressed by the Canadian PCCNA Association and supported by most of the people, I think. Anyway, and still it is existing. It is not a totally withdrawn. That really hurts those who fear for the growth of the church. And anyway, in spite of that kind of non-cooperation attitude, still we have been working together with the support and help of then Archbishop and present Archbishop Mati Malakad. And then of course, Father Abraham Antares has been leading to the great extent to get our people together with all his personal efforts, prayerful effort, and with a spirit of suffering he has been leading us 
to get our community grow day by day. And we need to give a special applause and appreciation. Because whatever we have reached today is a hardcore effort of the Ibrahim Toilet, together with the support of our priests and also support of people and prayers of our sisters. Thank you very much for this kind of hard work and I appreciate it very much. We know the growth of the community, Granite community has been very much promoted through the establishment of first parish at uh, Sacred Heart Church, Maywood, in 2006. And of course, today and tomorrow, this celebration was a part of that celebration. And tomorrow we will have a solemn celebration of Holy Kurbanya with our concluding meeting to felicitate this very special occasion of the anniversary. As we know, all those who are here sure will remember in 1910. For two weeks, we three bishops have been traveling all the big cities of our country and six parishes have been, churches have been consecrated and six parishes have been established within two weeks' time. So that's really a remarkable sign of growth. If we are united, how much we can grow, how fast we can develop, and how greatly we can make our community develop. This is really a test case, and it proves that we are united, we can work hard, and then we can make great progress for our community, as well as for the growth of our diocese, as well as for the growth of the whole church all over the world. And as you all know, in the growth of our community, certain roadblocks have been there. The community Tundays were built for the promotion of the growth of the community. But on the, on the growth, on the years of progress, they became hindrances of blocks for the, for the growth of the community as ecclesial communities. So we have to move from the community Tundays to our own local churches and parishes so that our functioning as parish or ecclesial communities should grow without any interference, without suppression. Our priests should have the upper hand to lead the community both spiritually and materially for the well-being of each and every individual. So we have to vacate from the community center of Chicago, from the community center of uh, Houston from the community center of Tampa, and the final last one was from the community center of New York. And it is hard, it was not intended, it was not any, uh, with any bad intention, but all good intentions. Because these communities and these were blocking the growth of our community, and in all these places, the viruses are flourishing. Once we are more out of the community and these, they are doing their own level of community growth, but much more in the ecclesial level of growth, we are flourishing with our parishes and uh, structures of parish level arrangement. So we have to support our priests, our people, those who favor the church and community. One thing it hurts me very much is that our priests, all with a good will, as we should Malagan has been very efficiently sending all the here. And I have been appointing this page with good intention to make our community grow day by day. But due to a certain uh, non cooperation non cooperative attitude of some of the people, many places for the peace to work as parish priests, passes should be a hard time. And that hurts me and also the other priests and also Archbishop Malakad because these priests who are here appointed, they are well efficient. They have been doing great in back in the Archdiocese got him. Now being sent over here, you know, they are curtailed and controlled. 
And this, I think, the representatives who are here have to understand clearly. We need to support all of our peace without reservation. And even though some of the entire elements in our community oppose their activities, that it is our trade and our responsibility to support our peace and give wholehearted support to all of our peace without any, any kind of uh, limitation or hesitation. So I earnestly urge all of you, those who are representing here, and through you, all the members of our community everywhere, to give total support to all of our peace for their functioning in the financial submission so that our parishes may do a body and our missions may reach full fledged level of parishes in due time. Without this support, they cannot function. They have to be supported through their love, through your love, through your praise, through your generous cooperation in every respect. Then only we can develop or we can achieve whatever is expected as a result, as a good of our community. Now, the community clinic community is well known for its celebrations. And they are willing to spend any amount of money for their own celebrations aspect, whether at the parish level, or family level, or community level, everywhere. And uh, I know, it is a reality. All of you agree that, I'm sure. But now, uh, since our own church, your own church, the major Episcopal Assembly held a term Kodagada in Gallagher Diocese two weeks ago. I've been thinking about how to control, how to limit this extravagance of our celebrations. We need celebrations, church is not against celebrations because they are expressions of our joy and happiness. But certain control, certain limitations are needed the extravagance, the extraordinary celebrations. Huge amounts of money being spent for unnecessary elements, whether for the church festivals, or for maybe celebration of family level, or for community gatherings, whatever be the occasions. Everywhere we need to limit our spending habits so that we may convert those amount of money to build our community, especially those who need our support and our help. In our meeting, the Chef has written a beautiful article, and I am sure you have, all of you may have read, because it was widely celebrated in our local papers, in Kerala's press, I saw it, and other papers, I read that one. So, I am sure all of you had the chance to read the article written by is prepared to do my George and Alicheri regarding the celebration of feasts and the churches, church festivals. So we are also invited to make our own commitment to God and to the church and especially a concern for the less privileged in our community. So these are the certain things we want to share with you to promote the growth of our community here. And as in every community or parish or society, the growth or development begins at home. The mayor of Archiepis possibly was discussing three topics, the simplicity in life, witnessing the family, and also the mission of the migrants. All the three have been widely discussed and Resolutions have been made, they have been duly communicated, and all of us have to take responsibility to translate them into the practical level, in our personal life, in the family life, in the parish level, the social level, and the community level at large. So let us begin with our family. You know, all the traditions, whether the Catholic Church, whether the Canadian community, or any other society, it begins at home. And so let us concentrate on our home. Our children are born and raised at home. Even all whatever values we need to give them, they have to be shared at home. 
Now we are here as mature people, adults. And all of us, without any exception, will proclaim that whatever we are, are the result of our parents. Their example, their prayer life, their sense of sacrifice, their sense of commitment, all of them made what we are right now. Do we have that kind of commitment to our family and do our children will be able to say that in our prayer of retirement, the, our children are at our age, Will they be able to say that whatever they are, are the fruit or result of their parents? So think about it, pray on it. And let us try our level best to make our family the best family before God. Let us make our parish and mission the best in our faith. And thereby let us build our community, our parish, our society, community, as well as our diocese, and thereby let us build our zero global church, and through that let us build our holy mother Catholic church. Thank you and God bless you.